Hey there and welcome to Delicious Bake Club. My name is Phoebe Wood and I'm the food director at Delicious. This month we're making my chocolate caramel and malt cheesecake. It's luscious and decadent and there's no way anyone could resist a slice. Firstly, to line your cheesecake pan, you wanna flip your base over so that makes it easier to get off when the cheesecake is cooked. Cut a round circle of baking paper and then one long piece to line the sides. For our biscuit base, I'm using plain malt biscuits. We're just going to finely crush them in the food processor. Once your biscuits are finely crushed, add melted cooled butter and then press into the base and sides of your prepared pan. Pop your base into the fridge until your filling is ready. Next step is to place your cream cheese in the food processor. It needs to be room temperature and then you just whiz it until it's smooth. Next, add your sugar, corn flour and eggs. Then whiz to combine. At this point, if you want to really bake like a pro, then get your scales out. We're going to measure our mixture and divide it exactly in half so we've got two nice even layers. To your first batch of filling, you're going to add your dulce de leche, which is your beautiful thick caramel, and then whiz to combine. Now your caramel layer is ready to go. Now bake your first layer in the oven for 50 minutes or until the edges are set with a gentle wobble in the centre. Now our caramel layer is set. We're going to make the chocolate layer and pour it straight on top while the caramel layer is still warm. We're going to combine the remaining cheesecake mixture with cream, malted milk powder and chocolate. Now you're ready to add your chocolate layer onto your caramel layer. Work from the outside in so that the center doesn't collapse because the caramel layer is still warm. When you've added your chocolate layer, give it a little gentle shake. You don't wanna do this with a palette knife or spoon because you don't wanna apply pressure to the top. So just make sure it's nice and even. And then we're going back in the oven for another hour. Our cake has been chilling for about four hours. So now it's time to make the chocolate ganache which we serve on top. So we've just got some dark chocolate buttons and some thickened cream. Set it over a saucepan of boiling water and stir until melted and smooth. All of the action is about to happen. We've got our ganache, which is cooled completely to room temperature. Our cheesecake is chilled. And now we're just going to top the cheesecake with the ganache. Now that you've added your ganache, we're just going to set this in the fridge for a further 30 minutes. We just want it nice and softly set. Now that I've shown you how it's done, it's your turn. I challenge you to make my chocolate caramel and malt cheesecake. Don't forget to take a pic and share it with the team at Delicious because we want to see your creations too. For all the details on how to join the Delicious Bake Club, head to our website. Can't wait to see all of your pics.